All right, uh, a trip to the store. I, I needed to buy some things. And while I was there, they handed me this. So thank you again, uh, Anchor Electronics. So what do we have? We have a Fluke 8000A, a uh, very, uh, I think it's a pretty famous, uh, famous meter. It was uh, been around a long time. So uh, AC volts, AC milliamps, DC volts, DC milliamps, kilo ohms, and 20 mega ohms. And then we have some ranges, um, power. Uh, I kind of like this arrangement where you can plug in either way to volts or milliamps, uh, but they're both uh, a double banana jack wide spacing. Um, on the bottom, we can kind of see the uh, see the specifications here. Um, 0.1%, 0.3%. Yeah, it looks pretty standard stuff. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it's three and a half digits or four and a half digits. I don't remember. Anyway, wired for 115. That's kind of interesting. Uh, John Fluke Company, Seattle, Washington. Um, for U.S. Service Center location call. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, what I was told was that one of the segments, or not segments, but one of the digits didn't light up. That's what they said. So, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can reproduce... You watch that channel just rolled in, the car repair place? <laughs> uh, so this one just rolled in. Customer states that uh, one of the digits is out. Here we go. Turn it on. And, oh, it looks like one of the segments is out is what they meant. One of the segments is out. Um, let's put in some, let's put in some volts here. Let me get my... Sorry about that. So we can inject some volts here. Got my power supply. Let's see here. DC volts, 20. Um, 7 volts. Ooh. I'm putting in 15 volts and it's telling me 7. Oh, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. This might be sicker than I thought. All right, let's go down to, oh, look at that. Yeah, it's very sick in the digits there. It also seems to be kind of sick in uh, what it's trying to do. 5.3 volts is three volts. Ooh, that's really, really bad. Really, really bad. Let me push the button here a little bit more. No, it's, it's bad. Three, three. Oh, it's very sick. Very, very sick. Let's try the other range here. Let's go. Let me give you one volt here. Let's see. Okay, let's go to the here. It should be 1.02 volts. Ah, sick, sick, sick. Yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing is not to working. Not to working. Let's try some ohms. How about that? Let's try some ohms. Okay, let's see here. Ohms, K ohms. Let's say 20 K ohms. And we'll put some ohmage on it. And let's see here. Let's put, let's put one, one K ohm on it. And one K ohm reads, oh, it's 666. Six, six. Yeah, 0. 0.2. So it's very sick. Very, very, very sick. Okay, so we have our work cut out for us. Uh, so two things, uh, fix the display. I don't know if the actual LED is uh, burned out or the uh, segment driver is burned out for that chip. We'll find out and uh, figure out why it's not measuring correctly. Not good at all. 
All right, there's just one screw holding on the case, and this is what you end up with, is just a PC, a PC board in your hand. Uh, there's some shielding down here for the front end, but yeah, there it is. Uh, none of this solder mask garbage, no. Uh, Two-sided board, looks very clean, doesn't look like anybody's been in here. Uh, there's some cool uh, air wiring here. Uh, and some uh, Catic high precision resistors. Um, that actually may be a precision shunt uh, going over the top there. And uh, we have a fuse inside. Um, let's see, what do we have going on here? I like this flex cable here. That was pretty, pretty novel for the day, I think. Uh, it is not a flexible PC board. It is a PC board that's been flexed. <laughs> it's FR4. It's just really thin and they just bent it in and then it's just soldered down. So yeah, before there were flex PC boards, there were PC boards that you flexed. Um, I expected to see like one big 40 pin chip that did everything, but I'm not seeing much of anything. Interesting. Interesting. So, I mean, obviously this is for the digits. So it's one, two, three, four LED packages. And one of them is probably the sign. So it's just three digit, uh, one, two. Oh no, it has a plus. No, it's, it's a three and a half digit, three and a half digit meter. Um, I love these. I love these, uh, Resistors over here though. Look at this. Yeah, so we have a catech here. You don't want to touch these things. You don't want to get oil on them. And a little thing here. I got this neat shunt here. And then look at this one. That one's really cool. Let's get a better view of that one. Yeah. Some wires wrapped around a wrapped around a piece of uh, mica. I think so. Looks like mica. Wow, that's pretty cool. Very, very nice. So these things are probably pretty good, right? Looks pretty good. Um, I'm just really curious about the chipset. Um, Dale, so that's just some resistors to drive the LEDs. There's a 7447. That's probably a, a BCD the segment driver or something like that. And I bet you this thing is just a bunch of trans drive transistors or something. I don't know. 381, I don't know. Maybe that's some fancy, fancy chip. Uh, what do we have down here? We have a SC532, 523. 523, 1977. This was 1977. SC522, SC523, interesting. Oh, and look at this. This is kind of cool. Got a little socket here. We got all these little resistors plugged into that socket. So um, here's our calibration data. Period, 20 mega ohm, K ohm, 200 millivolts and two volts. So very simple calibration. And then there's this guy here, another calibration. Not sure what he does. Doesn't mark. I don't think it's marked on the board. Uh, so where's the voltage standard? Is it this thing here? What is that? Looks like an op amp. Probably a, I don't know. Uh, I can't really read the, read the number. We'll have to get out the, uh, read out the schematics. Got a couple of electrolytics. We might want to swap out, but it looks very clean. Test point one, test point two. Uh, so we have the inputs over here and then we have some magic under a can. And let's see if we can't pull the can off. There's a little detent, there it goes. I want to break it. 
Oh, lots of goodness under there. Oh yeah, glad I took that off. Look at that. Oh, this is interesting. We've got these two basically ball hitches, like, like little tiny ball hitches. And then this uh, thing snaps over that. Uh, but yeah, this is the front end. Uh, we have a fancy, probably fit uh, input op amp here that does all the front end magic. Uh, what is that number? CR857. Hmm. I don't know. And then we have a little bit of air wiring here. So we have some standoffs. Uh, got a standoff here. And we have a little diode kind of hanging off in the breeze there. And another FET probably air wired into it. That might be the voltage standard there. I don't know. Just guessing. There's a diode here though. That might be a voltage standard. There's a little transistor here in the back. What is he? Let me put some light on him so I can see with my bad eyes. Oops. Uh, I can't tell. 286. I don't know what a 286 is. Or a 288. Yeah, maybe a 288. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this thing's way more simple than I thought it would ever be. So, a little bit worried about maybe some of these chips not being available if it's if they're bad it does need to at least have a counter in it somewhere uh, hmm. all right well next episode we will get out the schematic and try to figure out how this thing works